So I wanted to quickly talk about the issue that I had with stainless steel and um, now it's been resolved. So I had U drills just like this one. Um, I had three bodies, one's in here at the moment which is fine, I managed to repair this one but two of these bodies were completely broken. What would happen is the insert on the, the insert actually in the front, one of the inserts would break off, it would break the screw off as well, the screw would break off inside the body and the screws weren't, um, they're tiny, they're like M2 and they wouldn't come out, you couldn't like drill them out etc. Um, those bodies are about £165 or £160-ish each and then I I went through um, I think four or five inserts on a spade drill so I've got a um, spade drill that takes inserts which is this drill here this spade drill so it, like, it at least sort of centers itself up a bit it was meant to help and um, I kept breaking the inserts that are in the end of that drill so the inserts themselves would actually flatten off this is one of those inserts um, so you can see it's no longer got a point on it that one has a point and that would happen in sort of one drill cycle you kind of hear the change and manage to stop the machine before it damaged the holder um, this the spade drill holder is a little bit damaged but not damaged in that it affects its accuracy or anything we had the Haas engineers here for a little over a week and it turned out that the height, so the height of this spindle where this drill is, was off, it was too high to the tool in by 1.5 millimeters. And there's nothing that I personally can adjust. Um, sorry, actually, the t sorry, the tool in was 1.5 millimeters higher than the, um, than the spindle so there was nothing I could adjust I couldn't wedge these up or anything like that to kind of make a difference um, I was stuck with you know there's nothing I can do what the Haas engineers can do is they can actually put shims into the spindle to actually bring the ship the spindle higher unfortunately Haas USA um, the factory in the USA sent the wrong shim kits they sent shim kits for an ST not a CL which is this is a CL um, the guys spent a lot of time trying to cut up shims to make that work and they really just they couldn't get it to couldn't get it to work at all so um, in the end they did I mean obviously they fixed it uh, it took but I think they had to get shims from elsewhere to kind of make that actually work and now we have a working machine that will actually turn stainless steel which is great so I've been turning stainless steel spike bodies like this that still need to be cleaned up on the back and the stainless steel spike fronts like this one um, and they basically screw together to make up the body of the spike light like so um, so I've managed to get a little order of eight that I needed to get out um, so I've machined those, machined those bodies uh, annoyingly I missed an order I couldn't do an order um, for someone else who wanted 16 um, 16 lots is you know it's a big deal to me um, it made it made a difference between this month making a profit so far or making a loss and I couldn't do his order um, due to the fact I was unable to actually use the machine for over a week and um, yeah and um, obviously also the fact that we couldn't machine stainless steel anyway so it was quite frustrating really yeah so um but yeah i mean it's, it's fixed now which is absolutely fantastic um but i don't understand how the machine would have come out of the factory 1.5 millimeters out you know this should have been spot on out of the factory i mean maybe you know like could be out like by 0.1 perhaps um you know if it got knocked around and shipping or something like that but to be out 1.5 millimeters is huge because if you imagine it's not the with this the drill bit's not spinning the drill bit's static so let's say that's our drill bit in there um the material actually spins so as the material's spinning you imagine trying to you know there's your center you imagine trying to drill you know higher than than where the material is it kind of doesn't really work it drags your drill around and around like that hence why the um tooling kept breaking um or you know some of the other smaller tooling bending um i just actually found out that because of that we we'll have to redo all of the custom little holders we made for drill bits so this one, for instance, was made um, just for a 5.4mm drill. And I always knew this, but you can kind of see, looking at it, that 
that holder, the drill is not on center at all. And there wasn't anything I could do about it. It was basically in here, we used the chuck, put a drill bit in there, drilled center, but because obviously the height's off, you can't actually physically get it exactly to the middle of the holder. Um, hadn't really twigged at the time that, you know, there was a major issue. Um, but yeah, I mean, kind of just thought the drill bit wandered a little bit or something when it was being drilled in. Um, but obviously not, obviously it's actually that um, there was a problem with the machine. So yeah, as I say, great to get it working again, but uh, a nightmare of a journey all the way through. Um, but yeah, we're, we're back up and running. Um, hopefully we're gonna get some weekly videos out um, to start sort of pushing our YouTube following, etc. So starting to show you a little bit more about what's going on in the workshop. Today we've been working on things like protection fuses and trying to protect our LEDs from mains voltage supplies, etc. Because at the moment they're all extra low voltage and if you apply mains voltage to them they'll blow up. Um, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully there's a fun journey going on there. See you, see you guys soon.